little kitty. Step away now. Why? It's just a caterpillar. Not just any caterpillar. That's the assassin caterpillar. One of the most venomous insects on earth. Wait! Seriously? Yes. So let me show you what really happens if you touch the assassin caterpillar. Zoom in. Some creatures get a bad reputation they don't deserve. But in the rainforests of South America, one insect truly lives up to its chilling name, the assassin caterpillar. Recognized as the most venomous caterpillar in the world, it is the larval stage of the harmless giant silkworm moth from the Lonomia genus. What makes the assassin caterpillar truly deadly is its toxic hairs. The dense covering of hollow bristles on its body contains a powerful anticoagulant venom, a substance that prevents blood from clotting, potentially leading to severe internal bleeding, organ failure, and even demise. It's obvious that avoiding these creatures is the best course of action. But the problem is, these caterpillars are masters of camouflage. Their spiny, bark-colored bodies blend seamlessly into tree trunks, making them extremely difficult to spot. This makes accidental contact dangerously easy, especially for anyone walking through the forest unaware. And when someone unknowingly brushes against a cluster of these caterpillars, their sharp needle-like bristles pierce the skin like tiny hypodermic needles, delivering venom directly to the superficial layers and capillaries. Unlike a typical sting, this process is often initially painless, allowing the venom to spread unnoticed. Once inside the body, the venom begins to disrupt the blood's natural clotting system. It contains potent proteins such as LOPAP and LOSAC that interfere with clotting factors, triggering a dangerous chain reaction. At first, the body tries to form clots everywhere, rapidly depleting platelets and clotting proteins. Soon, these critical components are exhausted, leaving the blood unable to clot at all. This condition, known as consumption coagulopathy, can cause spontaneous bleeding from the nose, gums or beneath the skin, and even lead to internal hemorrhaging. Over the next several hours, symptoms may escalate. Victims could experience bruising, blood in the urine, or unexplained fatigue as the body struggles to manage the spreading venom. If left untreated, the breakdown of the clotting system can result in organ failure, shock, and in severe cases, death. So, what can one do if someone accidentally brushes against one of these caterpillars? The first and most important step is to act quickly but calmly. Immediately wash the affected area with soap and water. Then apply a cold compress or ice pack to reduce inflammation and slow the spread of toxins. There's another crucial step that might surprise you. Duct tape. Gently press a strip of tape onto the area and slowly peel it off to help remove any venomous spines that may still be lodged in the skin. Repeat a few times to ensure as many bristles as possible have been removed. Even if the reaction seems mild at first, don't let your guard down. Some of the most dangerous symptoms like fever, intense pain, difficulty urinating or fatigue 
can take hours to appear. So, without delay, seek medical attention immediately. Doctors may administer a specialized anti-venom which can reverse the venom's effects and prevent life-threatening complications. Trivia time! Did you know its venom is being studied for medical use? Yes, scientists are researching Lanomia obliqua venom to develop new drugs that prevent blood clots and treat heart conditions. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Soumya Raghuvanshi. Hope you learned something life-saving today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Kitty, why are you dressed like a duct tape mummy? Because prevention is better than cure. Never mind. <laughs>